Hello everyone. If you're only using a password to authenticate a user, it leaves an insecure vector for an attack. Multi-factor authentication is the process where a user is prompted during the sign-in process for an additional forms of identification. And today we are going to learn how to configure multi-factor authentication on Azure AD. I'm in my Azure AD default directory and I'm going to click users and add a new user. So I'm going to select create a new user and I'm going to give a name, call it John Doe. And I'm going to add a password like this. And then I'm going to keep all these settings as default and create the user. As you can see, the user is ready. Now let me show you that you can log in with that user. I'm going into that user and uh, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. As you can see, I have logged in successfully. Now let me go back to my Azure portal and enable multi-factor authentication. There are many ways of enabling multi-factor authentication for users and one way is user by user basis and for that I'm going in to my default directory and security section here and inside of this security section there's a menu item called MFA I'm going to select that and I'm going to click additional cloud-based MFA settings and I'm going into this users tab here as you can see I have my new user and multi-factor authentication status is disabled. There are three statuses here, disabled, enabled, and enforced. If you enable it, the user has an option to add multi-factor authentication for his account. And if you enforce it, user must have configured multi-factor authentication for his account. So I'm gonna select this user and click this button here to enable it. And it is asking me whether I should um, enable this. Awesome, I've just enabled it. Now let me go back to a new incognito window. All right, let me paste the name and insert the password. And as you can see, I'm getting a message here to enable multi-factor authentication for my account. Hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want to learn more of this stuff, subscribe to my channel as well. And thanks for watching.